Okay everybody, today I'm going to be seeing what happens to a vacuum chamber in a vacuum chamber. I call this the vacuum inception experiment. So I've teamed up with the creators of the Vsauce Curiosity Box to make my very own Action Lab subscription box. In order to do this experiment, we're going to be using the vacuum chamber from the Action Lab subscription box. So I wanted to unbox my subscription box today and show you what's in the very first Action Lab subscription box. So you start off with your thank you card, handwritten by me, it's even my signature there. We've got the vacuum chamber instructions here, how to assemble the chamber and everything. We've got the experiments that you're going to be doing in it. So for the people who purchase this very first subscription box, they're going to get a collectible enamel pin that says the Action Lab on it. It's pretty cool. It comes with safety glasses, Action Lab sticker, an Action Lab notebook, and I included this so that you could take notes of all the experiments that you do in your vacuum chamber. And then we had to include some safety tape. Action Lab branded safety tape so you can set up your experiments properly. You don't want anyone interfering with this. And then you have your very own vacuum chamber. And this is a vacuum chamber that you'll have to put a few pieces together in order to get it to work. And I did this on purpose because I wanted you to see how the pump actually gets air from inside of the chamber to outside of the chamber. And then the three experiments that are included in the box, we have some balloons, some marshmallow, and some shaving foam. Oh, and we can't forget your vacuum chamber patch. So in your vacuum chamber box will come all of the pieces that you need to make a working vacuum chamber. So this glass jar here will work as your vacuum chamber. This is where the vacuum will be. So I'm not gonna do all the experiments, but let me just show you one of them with the shaving foam and show you how cool this vacuum chamber actually is. So now watch what happens when I start pumping out this vacuum chamber. So the way this pump works is simple but amazing. It uses a combination of one-way valves to only let air flow one way. So you can pull it out, but it doesn't let it go back in. So as I move this up and down, it's gonna pump air out of the jar. Watch what happens to the shaving cream. <laughs> Look at it just expand. <laughs> Fill the whole jar in a sec. <laughs> Look at that. So you can see how good of a vacuum you can pull with this hand pump here. It's quite amazing. You can do some awesome vacuum experiments with this. Then watch what happens when we let the air back in. Three, two, one. <laughs> awesome. So this hand pump is pretty cool. You can easily pull around 26 inches mercury here. So I've included three experiments here and one other including the water experiment I talk about in the box. But what's cool about this is you can experiment on anything you want around your house. You can pretty much put anything you want in it so you can see what happens to that thing in the vacuum chamber. So now all of the requests that you've made to me about what happens to such and such in a vacuum, well you can do it yourself with this awesome vacuum chamber kit. So instead of finishing the rest of these experiments, I'll leave these to you and whatever more experiments you want to do with your own vacuum chamber. But let's see what happens if you put a vacuum chamber in a vacuum chamber. Okay, first let's vacuum out our mini vacuum chamber, the one that's going to be in the big vacuum chamber. Here we go. Okay, we're at around 26 inches of mercury, which is a pretty good vacuum for a hand pump. It's quite amazing that you can reach that low of a pressure. Okay, three, two, one. Whoa, look at that gauge in there. It's making it look like that pressure is actually increasing in this vacuum chamber. How could that be? How could the pressure in the small one be increasing when this pressure is going down? That's crazy, look at it just going up like that. So what's cool is this is actually 
not meaning that the pressure is increasing, but this vacuum gauge is actually telling the difference in pressure between the inside pressure and the outside pressure. So this is just showing that there's not, big dif there's not a big difference now between what's in here and outside of here. Okay, so you can see that we're at full vacuum now, but on the gauge inside, it no longer says we're at a vacuum in this vacuum chamber. But does that actually mean that there's not a vacuum in there? Well, no, it doesn't, because these pressure gauges, they measure the difference in pressure. So right now, this gauge is telling me that there's about one atmosphere difference between the outside air and what's inside here. But this one is telling you that there's no difference between the inside and the outside air. So the vacuum gauge looks the same whether it's in the vacuum or outside the vacuum, even when it's under vacuum inside. But then once you let the air back in, it'll show the vacuum returning to this vacuum chamber. So this is a little bit counterintuitive. So I'm increasing the pressure in here and the gauge back here is gonna show like we're decreasing the pressure in this vacuum chamber. Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> That's awesome. So it went back to its vacuum there. So now that we've returned the atmospheric pressure to this inner vacuum chamber, then the vacuum gauge does show there's a difference and it shows there's a vacuum in the inner vacuum chamber. So the gauge of a vacuum chamber in a vacuum doesn't show there's a vacuum. And it only shows a vacuum when you increase the pressure to atmospheric pressure, then it shows there's a vacuum in the vacuum chamber. But ultimately, nothing really explodes because actually, once it's under vacuum, this vacuum chamber has the least amount of force on it. Because right now, when this vacuum chamber is under vacuum in the atmosphere, it has 14.7 pounds per square inch pressing on it. But once you remove the pressure from the chamber, then it essentially has no pressure on it. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Remember to head over to theactionlab.com now to get your hands on the first Action Lab subscription box. And thanks for watching another episode of The Action Lab. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified when my latest video's out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.